Hello, my friends, hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor, where we're going to be talking about some big books, some great big books today, edited by Otto Penzler. Otto Penzler, who probably knows more about crime and mystery fiction than anybody else alive. If you are a reader of mystery, crime, or detective fiction, you're probably familiar with the name Otto Penzler. He is the proprietor of the Mysterious Bookshop in New York City and the founder of the Mysterious Press. So this guy knows what he's talking about when it comes to crime and mystery fiction. And I'm going to talk to you today about my favorite thing that Otto Penzler has done. And that would be his series of big books. And let me tell you, they're great big books, which started in 2007 when this big monster was published. This is the Black Lizard Big Book of Pulps. This was originally three different anthologies, which all got crammed into this gigantic phone book sized anthology edited by Otto Penzler, a huge and comprehensive anthology of crime, mystery, and detective fiction from the pulp magazines. And it, it has every great crime writer from the pulps in here. You've got Dashiell Hammett, you've got Raymond Chandler, you've got a ton of great writers that you've heard of and many that you probably have not heard of in the big book of pulps. I remember seeing this in the bookstore and just thinking, damn, that's huge. And that was, yeah, 2007 uh, was when I bought this. And I remember being impressed looking through this. I, I, I love the layout of this. So it's got a lot of the original illustrations that headed the pulp magazine stories. Uh, the whole thing is gigantic. It's all double columned. Uh, much like the pulp magazines were, double-columned, and that en enables it to fit a lot more text than you otherwise would into this gigantic book. And this thing is over a thousand pages long, so you can imagine how long it would take to read this, and I can tell you, it takes a while. But it's great! It's, it's an amazing anthology. And yeah, I was suitably impressed and happy to pick this up. But I didn't know at the time that there would be any more of them. I didn't know that there would be a whole series of big books. But apparently that was very popular. And he came out with another anthology that was not called a big book, but it was a big book. And that would be this one. This is the Vampire Archives. Now this, again, much like the other one, was originally three different anthologies that all got crammed together in this giant this giant anthology, The Vampire Archives, uh, which has a ton of stories. Anne Rice, Stephen King, H.P. Lovecraft, Harlan Ellison. A bunch of great writers are in, are in here. And it's, it's a massive, again, comprehensive collection of vampire stories. Probably the best vampire anthology I've ever seen. And yeah, this was amazing. And so I was, I was happy to get another one of these gigantic big books. Again, double columned. So you could pack a ton in here. An amazing, an amazing book. So that was cool. So the big books were officially a hit. And so he continued the series. And the next one is probably the most important in my mind. And that would be this one. This is the Black Lizard Big Book of Black Mask Stories. So this is another gigantic anthology. But this one is strictly from Black Mask Magazine. Black Mask Magazine, which started off as kind of an adventure pulp magazine that had all kinds of different types of stories in it. Uh, but it quickly started to focus on crime and mystery and detective stories. And that's what you find in here. It has a great introduction which talks about Black Mask Black Mask magazine and how important it was. And it's this is just like a huge collection of stories from Black Mask. Again, it 
reproduces some of the original pulp artwork from Black Mask magazine. This has the original magazine version of the Maltese Falcon, which was originally published in Black Mask. And as far as I know, this is the only place or the only book that you can get the original magazine version of the Maltese Falcon. I think you can only get it in this, in this anthology. So yeah, this is an amazing anthology. And I think this is probably the best of the black, ma uh, uh, the best of the big books. Uh, yeah, the Black Lizard Big Book of Black, black Mask Stories. It's awesome. It's awesome. But the next anthology is pretty damn good. And that one is this. This is the big book of adventure stories. The most daring, dangerous, and death-defying collection of adventure tales ever captured in one mammoth volume. Uh, and it is. It's, it's awesome. You've got Jack London, O. Henry, Rudyard Kipling, H.G. Wells. Uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs has an entire novel in here. Uh, Tarzan the Terrible, I believe, is the book in here. Yeah, Tarzan the Terrible. The whole novel is, is printed in here. And why not? Because this thing is huge. And he's... Otto Penzler had plenty of room. And so you just get all of these great old adventure stories from the pulps and other places. You've got Robert E. Howard is in here, of course. Uh, it's, it's an amazing anthology, the big book of adventure stories. And this is one of my favorites of this whole series. It's just so, it's just so cool. It's just so cool. Uh, then we've got this one, which is also awesome. Zombies, zombies, zombies. Zombies, zombies, zombies. Well, who wouldn't want a big, massive book full of zombies? Again, probably the most complete collection of zombie stories you're ever going to find. Uh, you've got uh, Stephen King's in here, Edgar Allan Poe, H.P. Lovecraft, Harlan Ellison, Robert Block, a ton of great writers. And it's just a huge book of zombie stories. So there you go. Zombies, zombies, zombies. This is another awesome one. That one's way cool. This next one is probably the best collection of ghost stories you're ever going to find. And that is, of course, the big book of ghost stories. A huge, massive, comprehensive collection of ghost stories that'll take you a long, long, long time to finish. Probably. Uh, again, has a bunch of great writers in it. Joyce Carol Oates is in here, Rudyard Kipling, Isaac Asimov, uh, Oscar Wilde, just a ton, a ton of great writers. And it's full of great ghost stories. I mean, who wouldn't want that? Who wouldn't want it? Everybody would want that. Now, this next one's interesting. This is the Black Lizard Big Book of Locked Room Mysteries. So this is interesting because it's all locked room mysteries. Who knew there were so many? But oh yes, oh yes there were so many locked room mystery stories. Again, it's gigantic. Uh, Stephen King, Dashiell Hammett, Lawrence Block, Agatha Christie, uh, George Simonson, or George, George's Seminen, Seminen. I can't pronounce anything. Why do I even speak? P.G. Wodehouse, Earl Stanley Gardner. A lot of great writers in here, some of whom I can even pronounce their names. But this is an actually this is actually an excellent book. Um, I never th I never knew that locked room mysteries were so interesting. But yeah, they are the Black Lizard Big Book of Locked Room Mysteries. You could just read about those literally forever. That's an excellent anthology. But wait, there's more. This one is interesting. This is the big book of Sherlock Holmes stories. This is the only one that I have in hardcover. I don't think they all were printed in hardcover, but a few were. And this one is awesome. Again, double columned. It's gigantic. And what this thing is, it's, it's not the original Sherlock Holmes stories. This is a massive collection of pastiche Sherlock Holmes stories. So it's, it's a collection of Sherlock Holmes stories written by people other than Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And it's interesting. So Sir Arthur Conan Doyle is in here, but very little of 
Doyle's work is in here. Then you've got uh, Colin Dexter, Ann Perry, Stephen King, P.G. Wodehouse, Neil Gaiman, a bunch of other people who wrote various Sherlock Holmes stories, and they're in here, the big book of Sherlock Holmes stories. So that's interesting. I haven't actually read that one yet, but this one is really good. This next one is really good. This is the big book of female detectives. So it's the big book of female detectives. And again, it's massive. It's huge. A huge book which focuses on female detectives, uh, featuring stories by Mary Roberts Reinhardt, Agatha Christie, Sarah Paretsky, Laura Lipman, Sue Grafton, Joyce Carol Oates, and many, 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 many other people. Many other writers in this collection. So yeah, this is awesome. The Big Book of Female Detectives. Cool cover. Another excellent volume. Now this one is extra creepy and extra disturbing. This is the Big Book of Jack the Ripper. So it's a whole gigantic big book of stories about Jack the Li Jack the Ripper. Uh, who And of course, you know, we've got uh, Robert Block is in here, and also Ann Perry, Jeffrey Deaver, Lindsay Fay, uh, Harlan Ellison is in this one as well. And you've got a bunch of other weird Jack the Ripper stuff in here. Eyewitness accounts, letters from Jack himself, gruesome post-mortem exams, exams documenting all the, well, grisly bits. So... There's lots of interesting Jack the Ripper stuff in the big book of Jack the Ripper. It's kind of a creepy thing. So there you go. This is another excellent anthology. This is a good idea for an anthology. This is the big book of rogues and villains uh, featuring many different villains from literature. Uh, we've got stories from H.G. Wells, Lawrence Block, Max Allen Collin, Collins, Donald E. West, Donald E. Westlake, and you've got a bunch of different villains from literature. You've got uh, Bram Stoker has a story in here. Robert Louis Stevenson does. Washington Irving does. So this is a great collection of just villainous and roguish characters. So yeah, it's awesome. It's a really good idea for an anthology. And again, it's massive. So there you go. This next one is kind of extra large. And it's also really interesting. This is the big book of real murders. So this is stories that inspired great crime films. So if you have an interest in classic, classic movies, uh, particularly cl classic movies that were crime movies. Uh, this features stories that became classic films. Uh, stories from Dashiell Hammett, Agatha Christie, Arthur Conan Doyle, Daphne du Maurier, uh, and many others. So, yeah. So a bunch of stories that inspired classic movies. Yeah, like Psycho, A View to a Kill, The Wild One, On the Waterfront, and others. So the big book of real murders, it's huge. This thing is gigantic. Again, a huge comprehensive anthology with an interesting theme. So if you like movies, there you go. And the last one I actually physically have here is this one. This is the big book of espionage. So a bunch of cool crime, fi uh, crime fiction, a bunch of cool spy fiction is in here. The most complete compendium of double agents, dead drops, and duplicious deeds ever collected by Ian Fleming, Eric Ambler, Sarah Paretsky, Jeffrey Deaver, and a whole lot more. So this is a big book of spies and espionage and stuff like that. So this is cool. Another big book. There are a couple of his big books that I don't have physical copies of, or copies at all, I, The Big Book of Christmas Mysteries. I don't have a copy of The Big Book of Christmas Mysteries, mostly because I can't imagine myself reading a book about Christmas mysteries. But it's available if you are interested in Christmas mysteries. Apparently, 
Christmas mysteries are a thing in the mystery genre. Who knew? So there was that. And this other one I do own, but I don't have it here, and that's the big book of Victorian mysteries. I actually have this up at the Rustic Vaughn Lodge, where it's inaccessible to me now because it's like 110 degrees up there right now. But this is up there. And I have no I did notice when I picked this up that it's smaller than some of these others. And I'm I'm wondering if that has something to do with paper costs and inflation. But I don't know for sure. Who knows? But it looks like a dynamite anthology. I haven't read it yet, but I do have it. And I will read it one of these days. So there's the big book of Victorian mysteries. That's pretty awesome. Okay, I'll shut up now. I've gone on at length, but I love these books. These books are awesome. These are great anthologies, all well worth your time, and it'll take some time to go through some of these anthologies. That's one of the things that makes them awesome. So there you go, Otto Penzler's Big Books. I will catch you next time.